Hi there, this is Bruno from SpainGuru.es, your portal and community for Spanish immigration. And today we're going to continue with a series of first-hand perspective articles. In this case, this one was written by Phil Anderson, who applied for a non-lucrative visa at the London Spanish Consulate, and he's going to tell about his experience. My partner and I, Phil, went for our appointments at 10.30 in the morning on uh, December 3rd, 2021, in London, and he appoints the following. The appointments are in Draycott Place and not at the embassy in Chesham Road. Some others went to the wrong place and were late. On arrival, you will wait outside the building on the road. However, a lady called us in exactly at 10.30 a.m., through security and temperature check, then downstairs to where the staff are. We waited about five minutes whilst they finished up with someone before we were called forward. Told the man we were there. He checked us on a list, asked if joint application we were, so he dealt with us both together, although checked papers for us one at a time. Paperwork he wanted was in following order. Original passport, copy of the passport, police criminal record check original, then translated one and copies, application form with photo glued to it, health insurance certificate, EX01, medical certificate, savings or financial proof of and copies of it, NIA certificate, and lastly the 790 form. And you will find also here in asterisk the copies were made in color. They want the pages with your details on and any pages with the travel stamps in. We scanned and printed ours in color. What paperwork had to be legalized or translated or both? We apostilled the police check, then had it and the apostille translated. You need to translate any divorce or marriage certificates to cover any name changes. We also had had, had bank statements and letters of resignation translated, our choice to prevent any questions. Medical certificate was done by a Spanish doctor, so we didn't need a translation. Same with health insurance. The certificate and receipt for payment in full were sent in Spanish. Basically, we provided more than needed to cover all bases. We are unmarried, hadn't given up work at time and appointment, and savings were in a joint English bank account. We owned a property in Spain, and we had stamps in passports showing we had been recently. We didn't have to do a letter of motivation. We had additional proof, including resignation acceptance letters from workplace. He didn't ask for this, but we handed them over with translated versions. Then he checked everything, he entered it into a computer, put all the paperwork in a folder and handed us a receipt to show we had applied. Upstairs we paid 525.80 pounds each, different to what it says on the website, but this is because it includes 12 euros, which is at the time 9.8 pounds, tax charge related to the form 790. Back downstairs to the same guy and showed him the payment. He took the folder of paperwork back and told us two weeks. Um, then there are links to other, other uh, first-hand experience in the London Consulate, so you can find the links in the description of the video below. And uh, he kept uh, our passports. We were in there for an hour and 10 minutes after security checks for two applications and payments. When we came out on the street, people were queued both sides of the street with about 20 to 30 people. Three different queues for different things though, so wrap up warm. This was, of course, in the English winter, which can get very, very cold. We saw people turn away at the checking stage, but that was because they didn't have correct paperwork, no police check. Another was the apostille wasn't present, stuff easily avoided. We don't know how, uh, uh, we don't know our result, but the appointment was straightforward and the staff were very helpful. We followed the application guide that is available on Spanish Consulate website London with a link in the article and English version at the end. Hope this helps someone else a bit and good luck. Again, this was written by Phil Anderson and this was his first hand experience of his application of an NLV at London's consulate. Please keep in mind that all the information provided in this video and article are based on personal experience and should not be considered legal advice. If you need to contact immigration uh, lawyers or tax experts or any other uh, services, you can go on spengroup.es and you will find the links here. You can also join our Facebook groups 
you can join our um, main group, which is Spanish Immigration, with nearly 16,000 members, um, where you can post your questions, ask anything related to Spanish immigration, of course, and you can do it also anonymously. You can also join our specific No Lucrative Visa Facebook group with nearly 600 members as well. And of course, uh, you can, you're welcome to subscribe to our newsletter, which uh, we send on a weekly basis every Monday with the top discussions of our community and any news. That's all. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you like it, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell button to receive notifications every time that we post a new video. Thank you. This is Bruno from Spain Guru. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.